Hello, Davina here and welcome to UsefulGraphicDesignTutorials.com. This is the first video in a series where Caroline and myself will show you how you can create graphics using a program called Inkscape. Inkscape is a free program through which you can create vector-based graphics that can be used on the web and in print. It is compatible with Macintosh, Windows, Linux and Solaris and it can be downloaded at www.inscape.com. In this tutorial I will show you the more frequently used tools so that when you come to use the program you will have some familiarity with them. I'm going to move myself off the screen now because we want to get on with the more important business of looking at the tools. So what have we got with the Open Up Inkscape? Well, starting at the top, let's have a look at the menu bar. And this is exactly the same as on most programs. As you say, we've got File and all the various things there, Edit. And you can see all the instructions uh, to help you use the program off that. The next one is the command bar and again if we look, um, if you hover the cursor it will show you what the various icons mean. Then we come down to the tool control bar. This will change depending on which tool you're using. Um, I've got the select tool at the moment, but if I went to, say, the uh, magnifying glass, you can see that changes. Down the left-hand side are all the tools. And because my screen is a little bit small, that's really all I can get in. Mm. Of course, it doesn't want to do it properly, does it? Right. If I click on this little arrow here, there's the gradient tool, there's the eyedropper, and there's the connector. But if you've got a bigger screen, you'll be able to get them all on there. On the right-hand side, we have the snapping tools. I'm not going to go into any detail now because I think they will become clearer as you get into the graphic program. Down the bottom, we have the color palette. And you can see the range. Don't want to make you sick, so I'll see if I can do it relatively slowly. The colour range is all there. Also, the colours are up here in the fill and stroke box as well. Uh, so you can get them from both. But we'll come on to that later. And down the bottom, the other one is the status bar. Because there's nothing on the screen at the moment, it's empty. But once you start um, creating something, then various um, information appears here. OK, so what have we got actually on the page here? Well, the big white one is the canvas. And you can use all of that to create your fabulous graphics. Um, and this bit in the middle is called the page. That's important, particularly uh, when you come to save and you want to have a, a preview afterwards. If your page isn't up there, your um, creation, your graphic won't show up. You can take it off and you can resize it. So let's have a look at how you do that then. We go up to File and we come down to Document Properties. And in there uh, you have the custom size, uh, which I think is A4, and you can alter that, and let's do that. Let's say 500 by 200, and you can see the page has reduced. You can also remove it, and I tend to work like that. But um, the, with the proviso that when you finish your work, make sure you bring it back for the reasons I've said. So just click the show page border. 
I shall leave it on though for this tutorial and I'm going to take it back to well let's say 700 by a thousand okay the first tool we're going to have a look at is this one it's the select tool you're going to use that an awful lot and you need it, it is important because without using that tool you won't be able to move any of your objects around the next one are the well the four one two four default drawn shapes for want of a better word so i'm going to use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle the one thing with Inkscape is it remembers the previous action you've done. So I obviously drew a blue triangle. We'll come on to changing the colour a bit later on. That is the triangle. If you wanted a square, you would use a triangle, but hold control down. If you want a square, use the triangle tool, holding control key down and drag and you get a perfect square. The next one is the uh, ellipse tool and we'll draw the ellipse. We've got a red one, how pretty. And again, if you want a circle, same as the square, hold control and draw. These two, the star and the polygon, the polygon click on that and draw. I don't know why but it drew the star. Perhaps it does that automatically. Come back and draw that. And this is a good example of the uh, select tool. Clicking on it, uh, it puts this box and the arrows around and click and drag. These arrows here, if you double click again, you can then move them and, and they all rotate around this central bit here. If you move that, it will re rotate there. So that's very similar to other programs. And you can resize it or whatever. I'm going to get rid of all these now. And one very quick way is select, hold, shift, and and delete. I just press the delete key, leaving it with the rectangle. There is another tool in the toolbox, and it's the Bezier curve or pen tool. I'm not going into do, uh, into this now because, well, there are various tutorials using that. Caroline does a very good one, so we'll leave it um, until we get to that one. What I want to do now is to show you how to resize this triangle because again that's something you will need to do. We can we need to select it and you will see here that at the moment the width is 18 no sorry 815 point something and 532 pixels. Let's change that to the width of 500. You could do these arrow keys as well, but it's going to take a bit of time because I'm going down to 300. And there we have. Let's move that in. That's where you would put it there. The next tool we're going to have a look at is the magnifying tool or the zoom in and zoom out. So click on this one here and you'll see a number of tools there. For today I'm just going to concentrate on the plus and the minus. Sometimes an object is not big enough to work on and I don't want to change the size like we did previously. So what we do is we zoom out and select in there and if you click on the plus it should then 
come to the size that you want it. If it's too big, just click on the minus. But we'll take it up, that one. And that brings us nicely onto the next tool, the node tool. But first of all, I'm going to just move uh, so that I can work in the middle of the page. OK, the node tool. This is the second one down. Click on that and you'll see nodes appear. At the moment, we've got right angles or a sharp corner um, for, the rect for the rectangle. But if we click on this little circle here and click and drag, we will see that there's a nice round corner to it. It makes a nice rounded rectangle, ideal for a shiny button, which we will be looking at in a future tutorial. I think this is a good time to stop. But we will continue in part two, uh, looking at the rest of the tools in Inkscape. So, look forward to seeing you in part two. Bye bye.